what is happening guys welcome back okay so it's i'm gonna be honest it's been like a week and a half since i've played this um i've been working on the podcast channel and yeah so we got to get back into this uh like i said we're gonna probably play this till ac6 comes out armored core 6 uh, which we got gameplay of that this past weekend oh my gosh it looks great it looks fantastic i'm so excited for doing a let's play on that um but i did go go through and watch some of my older episodes so i kind of have an idea of what we should be doing because i know last time we kind of were lost <laughs> uh first thing we're gonna do, do is go kill godfrey uh i remember we found him at one of the first gates here let's see here east capital rampart i think it was we found Godfrey in Millennia's place, and we got our ass kicked by him a lot. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go back there and kill him right off the bat. I think that's going to be a great way to start out here. Uh, there is going to be a Crucible Knight over here, I remember. Right there. We're just going to go through here. Because I'm pretty sure that we can kill Godfrey now. We are so much stronger than we were before. Um, so that'll... I mean, maybe he has a great rune too. We're still in the predicament of no great runes. We'll see how our damage is here. Also, we have a summon too we can spawn out if need be. Yeah, I gotta... It's been a while since I played Elden Ring, so give me a second to warm up again. <laughs> yeah, I might need to summon out for this fight. Could have been able to jump over that, I thought. There's gonna be a second phase of this too, probably. Ah oh shit, why did I do that? This weapon is too slow for this fight, man. I think that's my problem. I'm used to fighting with like a sword or not a staff for this fight or a halberd yeah we're gonna summon out for this At least we have more sacred tears than last time. I'm kind of surprised we got a stagger there. We might. We might be okay here. We might not need us. Uh, if I can remember how to do that. <laughs> Just jump. <laughs> yeah, we'll give this another go. I, it, like I said, it's been like a week and a half since I played Elden Ring, so I, well, give me a second to get warm here. <laughs> My whole focus has been on this podcast lately, getting guests, and we've, we're already up to five episodes already shot, ready to go, so it's like, this has been my whole focus, so I haven't really played much games lately. I'm kind of rusty.
shit. Ah, shit. I was by a rock. I couldn't see. Damn it. What? How did he... Okay, I don't even know how I got hit by that. I wasn't even by that attack. Ooh, uh, what the heck was that frame rate drop there? That's wrong button. Might be only one phase here. I mean, that's the second music playing right there. There we go. He's going to do that. Shit. Shit, that I was not ready for. It. There we go. Small little attack. Small little attack. Heavy attack. Nice. Ah, shit. Damn it, I can't. Ah. Uh, should be jumping that. Damn it! He got screwed up. Uh, I I tried to jump the one attack, and he kicked me down with his foot instead of me jumping. I was too close to the jump. That's what messed me up there. And then I was staggered, and yeah, that. Oh, that was close though. That was really close. For not playing for a week and a half, I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> That was my bad. I was too far to the right on that. I wasn't ready for that one, apparently.
Ah, too early. It's when the when the X crosses the knee is when you jump. Oh shit. Oh shit, they usually don't get hit by that attack. Ah, oh, that was a punishing attack. I messed it up. There we go. Oh shit, that's not it. That's not the punishing attack. That's death. Oh, maybe not. Attack. There we go. Uh, how does that connect? Oh no, I'm dead. Mm, that was the punishing attack. Every time that one, man. Every time. dodge that for some reason. I, the explosion one, I don't know why I cannot get the timing right on that one. It's like the shockwave or something is that what hits me. Very odd, I don't know. I say we just summon and this shit. <laughs> Why can't I summon? Oh, because... Well, let me try one more time with a buff, just to see if it makes a difference.
Ha! It's, it's, it's like, it messes with my head. Like, I don't know which way to run for that. I don't know why. It's always different, it seems. Oh, why did I not jump that? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> you know what? Kill me. This is a bad run. We're just gonna summon and be done with this. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to die to God for 20 times today. Especially when we haven't found any great runes yet, like we're just so behind in this let's play. Like we we need we need four great runes to even beat this, and I don't even have one yet. <laughs> so I don't care what we have to do, we just have to get through this somehow. How does it always come up right under t underneath me? Okay, so whenever he locks it down, if that's when it hits, I get it now. So it doesn't matter which way you run till he does the little kick with it, and that's when it's gonna do the thing. I think I understand how that attack works now. here I missed it again see that's how okay now here we go ah oh, shit Ah, 
I'm just a little bit late on that. It's just a weird after effect that I never knew how to dodge before till just now, apparently. My 1700 hours of this game. That's how you do it, okay. almost died. <laughs> Loveport, Assassin's Crimson, Dectus Medallion. Damn. Ah, uh, well that's not uh, anything. Except for runes, lots of runes. Okay, so yeah, that was a good learning experience, so how to dodge that one smash down attack. If you didn't catch it, basically when he smashes that hammer down, there's a shockwave right when he smashes it, then there's a shockwave like three seconds afterward when he twisted in the ground, and that twist, if you jump that twist, you'll be safe. Um, and because if you don't, then you're going to be locked on to the uh, earthquake that he does. So, just kind of interesting. Uh, in my 1700 hours, hours of this game, apparently I've never figured that out till just now. So, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Alright, um, let's see here. Let's do some leveling here. What were we trying to level here before we took a break from this game? Uh, we need runes needed sixty thousand. I'm wondering if we should have level of faith maybe so we can get gold. Ah, oh, we don't even have a golden bow, do we? I don't even think we do. Let me see here. Do we have golden bow? We really don't have much any of faith. So yeah, it would kind of make be pointless to do that. Uh, do we have any sorcery that could be good? Let's start loving intelligence, maybe? Let's see here. Not really. No. <laughs> I wanted to experiment with the, you know, a little bit more on, the, on this build, but uh, there's not very much we can do with it when we don't have incantations or, or spells or anything like that, for that matter. Uh, let's just boost dexterity then, I guess. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is a dead end now, so... Um, back to the capital? Let me look at my notes here. Uh, okay, so explore the rest of the capital I have on here. So, apparently we didn't explore all the capital. Uh, let's see here. Lindell, capital of Ash. That's not what we want. We want the Avenue, Avenue Balcony. I'm wondering... If there's another gate somewhere that we missed, I'm trying to think of places that there possibly could be one. Because we came from that angle, we worked our way down. We've already done the underground. The underground was one of the first things we did in this Let's Play. Thank goodness, I don't want to go back under there. I'm trying to think there was, if there's any other gates that could possibly be a leading point. Um, let's see here. Did we even go through Godfrey's gate? Like, the Godfrey Phantom gate? Like, up there? I don't even think we did. I think that's what we should need to do next. Let's make our way to Godfrey's Phantom gate. Uh, we actually have that grace, I think. Yeah, we were up there before. Uh, Fortified Manor? Oh, wait. Fortified Manor? Did we even explore the manor the rest of the way? I think what we did was we took that... I remember exactly what loop we were on, finally. How we got to that loop where we were, we took the teleporter up here on where this divine bridge is. We never actually went through the rest of this place or any of the capital for that matter. That's That loop was actually that long. I can't believe that. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot we can still do in the capital here. Let's first go through the cap... This, uh... This, uh... What do you call it? The round table hold? The old round table hold? 
Let's go through that and see what that is. That's a that's an, a legendary item up there. That could be a great rune for all we know. So let's go check that out. Also, this knight over here will have something to... Or not knight, obviously, because we're in the randomizer. Let's kill him real quick. What do he... Whatever this guy has. Because he'll have an item for us. He uses the knight right here. Uh, Dragon Tower Great Shield. Okay, that was nothing. But... It was worth checking out, though. Um, let's go right around here, though, and check the uh, upper side of the old round table hold area. Damn, another hand. Handsies are everywhere, man, in this mod. It just kind of scares me that we haven't found any great runes yet. This far into a Let's Play, and... We haven't even found one of the things we need yet to be able to, com uh, to complete this. Pearl Drake Talisman. I think we have the better one, don't we? Yeah, we have the 2 plus 2. Okay, please be a great rune. Please be a great rune. Lion Great Bow. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> we need a great rune, damn it. Hmm. Hey, okay, come on. There's got to be... Let me turn on a lantern so I can see a little bit better in here. We already go through... No, we haven't gone through here yet. Gideon's office... Uh, isn't there usually an item back here? It's usually a seabed curse. It's kind of weird that that's not back here. That's really odd. Usually the randomizer places items where items are in the base game, and I know damn straight there is a seabed curse back there in the base game. Weird. Okay, we went through there. Did we go through here? This is... Yeah, this was... Andres. Come on, Great Room. Let's go. And it's not a Great Room. Coast Club Wart 9. Oh, man. Okay. So there's nothing here. That's everything here. Hmm. Where you're back here, right? Or wait, was this where the seabed curse baby was? Or no, never mind. Okay. Um, I wish I had torrent right around here. With that'd be nice. We could just go up there that way to. Up there, I don't think there's any other items down here. Is there? There might be on the other side, actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah, there might be here. I mean, there could just be a great, great rune laying around. That's just it, like... I mean, in any one of these buildings, a great rune could just be laying there. That's the bad thing, like... Really didn't think about my my situation here when I designed the seed to this randomizer. 
I was thinking, oh yeah, it'll be a great time. Randomize everything, including fog gates and everything. And it's like, yeah, maybe not a good thing because like this game is massive and there could just be a great room like laying in a corner somewhere. <laughs> Not very ideal. Okay, so there's nothing else here. So I think we're good to go up to Godfrey's place, I think. So let's go up to West Capitol Rampart. I think that's where we need to be. Yep, okay. Uh, and we are at 32 minutes, so We'll cap it off there. Um, yeah, and then we'll, next episode we'll go up through Godfrey's normal gate, which we have not gone through yet. So I'm really hoping that takes us to a, an open side where it could go multiple ways, because other, otherwise I've got to look back at my notes again. It's getting kind of confusing. Stay tuned. Much more coming soon, guys.